Conceive, believe, achieve. Shut the f*** up. UFC 295, uh, but it was totally worth it. I mean, what an event. I mean, we're going to get into all that stuff, but was that one of the quickest fight main cards in recent memory? Dude, because all finishes. It, it seemed like every fight was awesome the entire way, all through the prelims. Every fight seemed like it was awesome. I can't think of a single bad fight that was on that card. Yeah, yeah, no, it, it, it was tremendous. We'll start with the call main event because Tom Aspinall is a friend of the show. He comes on here all the time. He's a good friend of mine as well. I went round. Uh, I was very confident. I was very bullish. I even had DC calling me up and saying, what are you doing? What are you doing? Are you just trying to hype this fight? He said, I know you guys are friends, but what on earth are you doing, Bispin? Sergey's the real deal. And I was like, look, listen, we are buddies, but it's not because I'm biased. I said, you look at the performances that he's had. That's why I'm so confident. And then he goes out there. I was nervous because Tom looked very, very nervous going into the fight. And rightly mm -hmm. so, right? He's fighting for the interim belt. Sergey Pavlovich is a killer. He's got one punch mm -hmm. knockout power. You know the rest. Walks out, fight starts. 69 seconds he's on his feet he's moving and grooving he get he got caught a couple of times i was concerned very very concerned but he was moving around he was dancing around the octagon and then one two left hook sits him down i think it was a left hook or a right hook regardless mm -hmm. sits him down massive hammer fist that's it falls on the floor the new interim heavyweight champion of the world the arena lost its goddamn mind how was mm -hmm. the experience for you jesse living at sitting at home it was incredible. And I, so I picked him also. I, w I went one for two. I picked him. And oh, I picked don't lie. Don't lie. Oh, it's, it's, it's on record. I picked him by stoppage too. Picked him by stoppage. <laughs> nice. But nice, I also nice. picked Yuri by stoppage. So that was obviously wrong. Well, I picked right Yuri one, as well. Wrong for the other. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, it was unbelievable. And it was funny because uh, I hung out with the Black Rifle Coffee guys the week, previous week and they were at the event because uh, they did that sponsorship. And, you know, I was trying to explain to them this fight. And I was like, dude, I was like, Tom Aspinall is this 265 pound guy from the UK who will beat up 11 guys in a row and then go have sex with all of their wives because he's super good looking and well spoken. And then you got the other guy is this Russian bear who could have invaded Ukraine by himself. And then so when Tom Aspinall knocked him out, he texted me. He was like, you he's like, you said this fight was going to be insane. I'm like, I told you, dude, I told you. That yeah, yeah. Awesome. I mean it's wild how easily Tom went through him because Tom's known as a tactician. He's known for his heavy hands, of course, like all heavyweights. But it was Sergey, the one that everyone was, th was thinking maybe he'll get the first round knockout. You know, mm -hmm. I thought Tom was going to take his time. I went backstage beforehand, had a little chat with him. He even said any last minute advice for me. And I was like, well, who am I to give you advice, Tom? You're doing incredible things, I said. But just remember that Octagon's huge. You know, don't stand in front of him. You know, uh, but just ultimately be yourself. That's what I said to him. I said, ultimately, just do you, man. You fight the way you always fight. You're going to be more than fine. Uh, I mean, it just shows what, what I mean, I don't know who's going to stop Tom Aspinall. I texted him. I said, look, listen, buddy. I said, this is the start of a wild ride for you now. I said, in 10 years time, you're going to have 20, 30 maybe more million in the bank. I said, it won't be long before you're buying a new house. I said, you know, this is the start. This is the start of an epic run. Of course, there's John Jones. Of course, there's Steve A. Miocic. Mm -hmm. And they will be tough fights, right? Or maybe not. I guess time will tell. But outside of them too, and you never know if that fight is going to materialize. But outside of them too, I genuinely do not see anybody in the heavyweight division giving him a, a problem anytime soon. He can knock anybody out. He can take anybody down and he can submit probably all of them as well. He literally mm -hmm. is the heavyweight George St. Pierre. I totally agree with that take. And, and it's hard to even, it's hard to say that he ends up fighting John Jones or Stipe because if John Jones wins, he said he's going to retire. I don't think Stipe comes back if he loses to John Jones. The only guy where there's a question mark is just Almeida in case he does some crazy jujitsu thing. But 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 Aspinall is an incredible grappler also. 